Okay, welcome back. I will close that slide sheet now. The next item in the list will be to open a sample.htm uh, page. Now, we're already in this software pa package called SharePoint de Design. We're going to create a new home page called Sample. So we're going to go new page. And that page is going to be called Sample. The minute I open it, I'm going to save it and call it Sample. Okay, I'm ensuring that it's in here. If I go back, it's actually sample.htm. It's there. Okay, so sample.htm. This page will have a table, and here I'm going to open up. I, I don't want this to confuse anybody. This page will have a table below the heading and menu options below the table. It should look like this. It will look like this, but we haven't done any really. We didn't put the table. It said it should look like this. We're going to make it look like this, but we haven't really done anything yet. So re read beyond this picture. After you set and run maybe with question 28, it will look like that. Okay? Now, first thing it says to do, attach, attach the external style sheet that you saved in step 22. So I have to go attach. Remember, this one is not attached to it. All HTML pages. Again, I'm going to browse for this, and I'm going to click OK, and I won't see any difference here. Why? Because I haven't put any data yet. Okay? When I start putting data, I will start seeing <coughs> the effect. Okay, now uh, by removing, it's already removed. Everything is in there. No problem. In the top left corner, add the text last edited by. I'm here. And I'm going to go last edited by, and I think it's going to have my name. AE093 STD111. Do you notice that the code, uh, the P is already what we did? Um, I want to, I want to, I want to be sure. Remember P? P color is blue and it is italic and if I go here color is blue and it's italic so it's already kicked in because I attached it okay that is done set this text to to style h3 so I go here and remember how we do this click on that P edit tag and make this h3 I click correct and this is h3 and again if I go back to h3 I double check the color it's black all right next enter the Heading sample website for client X, set this to H1. This is going to be under it, under that. Heading will be sample website for client X. Again, it's coming up as P because by default it's P. Set this to H1. I do the same thing. Go there, edit tag, make this H1. And I don't see why H1 is not working properly. I go back there and I do edit tag I'm sorry I do h1 and I do this something is not right with with h1 this might happen to you what's happening with h1 it says all f's do you see my problem I have made a mistake what is supposed to be h1 if I go to the question I mean this could happen to you and it happened to me h1 is supposed to be black not white and by mistake there has been some kind of mistake in there which made this all white you want to double check this if I go to h3 and I modify it, I will notice, uh, sorry, I'm going to go to H1, modify it, it actually says all Fs. So I had made a mistake, and you could be, you could do the same thing. Single click on this and make it black. Click OK. Well, guess what? Because the website is directly linked to this style, when you change anything in that style, that website will be affected. And this is how you just saw that, okay? Next, so be careful with all these colors. As, as I'm making this, I'm making this, uh, if I make a mistake, I will keep it and then I will keep it for you. So maybe if you make the mistake on the exam, you will actually correct it in a similar manner. Okay, now here's where the table is starting to kick in. It said, below the heading, create a new table which has five rows and three columns. This is going to be here. I'm going to go insert. Sorry, I'm going to go table, insert table. Five rows, three columns. I want five rows, three columns, click OK. The table is there. So you don't see all of it. It's there, but we're going to work on it. Just be patient. OK, merge the cells. The top cells you're going to merge to become one. So all of these, I'm going to select the top row, right click, modify, merge. They become one cell. Then I will have a 
uh, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H in there. They want us to also merge those right three there. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Right click and modify and merge. And the bottom three as well. They want them merge, modify and merge. Okay, we haven't put any data yet. We will be putting some soon, some very soon. Okay, I'm gonna take a break and I'll come back and continue this.